Now we'll discuss the concept of equivalent battery by using Thevenin's method. This is a specific method in which for any given circuit across two terminals, we can consider any two terminals of a circuit, we find open circuit potential difference and internal resistance of the circuit. If we have the open circuit potential difference that can be regarded as EMF and obviously internal resistance will be the internal resistance of the equivalent battery and we can say we find open circuit potential difference and internal resistance of the circuit and replace the circuit by an equivalent battery of same EMF and internal resistance. And then we can handle the situation as if rather than a circuit, a single battery is present. Let me explain the same with the help of a simple example. Let us first draw a circuit. It is a general circuit which consists of some batteries and some resistances. Say the resistances are 5 ohm, 3 ohm, 6 ohm. There's a 6 volt battery, there's a 4 volt battery, there's also say a 4 volt battery. In this circuit, say we are required to find the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistance. Obviously, as per the discussion already held in the previous sections of the topic. We can say if we apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in these two loops, we can easily find out the current in 5 ohm resistance by writing KVL equations or by another way of using KCL also you can get it. Now we'll discuss another way out by using equivalent battery by Thevenin's method. In this situation, if we wish to find out the current in 5 ohm resistance, we just open the circuit across the terminals A and B. If we open the circuit, you can see the circuit will be drawn like this. There's a 4 volt battery, 6 volt battery. There's the 6 ohm resistance. Here is another 4 volt battery. There's 3 ohm resistance. And here are terminals A and B. Now, in this situation, we calculate the resistance inside terminals A and B. Here we can treat these batteries to be ideal batteries, so their internal resistance would be zero. And you can see if these batteries are replaced by zero resistance, then only the 6 ohm and 3 ohm resistance appear to be connected in parallel across terminals A and B. So this internal resistance of the circuit inside terminals A and B we can write 6 and 3 in parallel, that will be 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3, that will be 18 by 9, it is a 2 ohm resistance. Now, if we wish to find out the potential difference across A and B in the situation when the circuit is open from A and B, you can see here I have removed this 5 ohm resistance. Now, in this situation, there is only one loop. In this loop, we can easily calculate a current which will flow through it and the current can directly be given as here the 6 volt battery and 4 volt battery can be taken in additive combination. So, it will be totally 10 volts. And the resistance in series will be 9 ohms, so this will be 10 by 9 ampere. Another way to calculate this current will be by using KVL equation. Say from this point, if I write KVL equation for I, then this equation will be from here. If I start in this direction, it will be a gain of 4 volt potential difference, then it is minus 3I, and again it is a gain of 6 volt. Then it is minus 6 i should be equals to 0. On simplifying this, you are getting the current to be 10 by 9 ampere. Now, if we got the current in this uh, loop or in the circuit uh, in the resistance of 3 ohms, we can directly find out the potential difference across A and B. Now, we write KVL equation from A to B. If terminal from terminal A, if we start, say here potential is VA, 
if we move in this direction this will be a gain of uh, 4 volt potential difference and then if we move in this direction you can see current is flowing in upward direction so in downward direction there will be a gain of potential because in the direction of current potential decreases so it will be plus 3 i and uh, value of current we already know it is 10 by 9 ampere and this equals to V B. So from here you can see we are getting V B minus V A that is a potential difference across terminals A and B and here you can see B is at high potential. This will be 4 plus 10 by 3. This can be simplified as 22 by 3 volt. So this is the open circuit potential difference across terminals A and B which can be treated as equivalent EMF of this circuit across terminals A and B. Now we replace this circuit by a single battery across terminals A and B. Here you can see what we are getting. Here the resistance will be 2 ohms and we replace it by a single battery of EMF 22 by 3 volt with B at high potential end. So the whole circuit other than this 5 ohm resistance here we have transformed into an equivalent battery and such a battery is called Thevenin's battery or this EMF we call Thevenin's EMF and this Thevenin's internal resistance. And now the 5 ohm resistance which we have removed for this transformation we can place it back and in this equation you can easily calculate that the current will flow from terminal and B to A through 5 ohm resistance and the value of this current can directly be written as 22 by 3 divided by 5 plus 2 because here 5 and 2 ohm are connected in series. So the value of current will be 22 by 3 by 7 this is 22 by 21 ampere that will be the result of this problem. I hope you can easily handle the same problem in your copy and verify by using KCL as well as by using KVL that the final current you are getting is same. So this is just a way, another way by which you can handle various different kind of problems and you must also keep this method in your mind because there will be many questions where you will get a shortcut by using this method.